All right, Stephen, we'll see you then. Thank you. Breaking right now, take a look at these photos of marijuana plants we just got. Police say they found these in a car that had crashed over a hill and sheared off a gas line. That crash happened this morning in North Huntington Township. Channel 11 News reporter Melanie Marcelco joins us live with brand new information from police on this. And Melanie, we understand this whole thing started when the suspect ran out of gas. Yeah, David, this is one wild story and one that really the police were in the right place at the right time. Officers on routine patrol actually came upon this car because it was stopped in the middle of the roadway with its four way flashers on. Now, police say as they continued to follow that car and this driver, he ran out of gas and actually tried to push his car from outside using the steering wheel. But the driver, Lamar Kincaid, ended up losing control and his car rolled back, sharing the gas line to a nearby house. Now, this all happened in about about 8 o'clock this morning on Barnes Lake Road near Clay Pike in North Huntington Township. His car ended up coming to a stop against that house and hit another gas line there. North Huntington police officers say when they approached Kincaid, he told them there was a large amount of marijuana in his car. You can see that here, 29 marijuana plants, about three to four feet in height, with the roots still attached. They were all stuffed in garbage bags in the back seat and the trunk of that car. We talked to the homeowner today whose eight-year-old son was the first to see See and hear this happen. She said while she's happy, no one was hurt. The most surprising part of it is what they found inside that car. That was the surprising part, <laughs> yes. And uh, after a few minutes, um, it became very noticeable as well. Wow. <laughs> so you could smell it, I'm sure. It was the, pungent. The, <laughs> the whole front yard, because and because the car is so close to the front door, the whole house smelled like it for hours. Now, police say Kincaid was the only one driving that car, but they do believe that there were three other men inside that car with him, but they took off. They have not found them tonight, but police tell me that they don't know where they were going and they don't know where they were coming from. As for that homeowner, she won't get her gas back on until tomorrow. Reporting live in Westmoreland County tonight, I'm Melanie Marcelco for Channel 11 News.